comparing surfaces and simplifying the topology is often needed if a watertight mesh is to be generated. If we look at this forebody of the Balka, you can see there are many small patches. This is an import from Napa. Now, if we want to generate a watertight mesh, we can simplify this by applying a feature. This feature will create a single surface for the lower part of the hull up to the bulbous bow, all the surfaces that have been selected. And the same features apply, apply to the upper part. So we reduce the set of about 100 surfaces to only two surfaces. This also has some fairing influence. So if the underlying model is bumpy, then the generated surface will rather be smooth compared to the initial set of surfaces. Now we can select the two surfaces and create a tri-mesh. This is actually a sneak preview on the upcoming release 2.3, which will be available in a few weeks, around about mid of April. Now the red edges actually indicate open edges, so we can see there are no red dots within the surfaces in the rest of the body. And the tri-mesh is generated by adapting to a maximum error deviation from the underlying surface representation. Now we are adding a deck simply drag and drop of that deck surface to the tri-mesh. It will be joined into the meshes. And now this part of the hull is ready for CFD use. We'll just show how refinement can be done if the accuracy needs to be increased.